Hey, hey guys. Uh, really quickly, I'm doing a pajama project. I apologize. I um, mean, normally this doesn't look like this, but it's public TV, so gotta cover up the girls. At any rate, I bought this purse. It's an anthropology purse, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this brand is anthropology. And I just loved, I thought it was so fun. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And I bought it who knows how long ago. And I never used it. But I do, I love sparkle. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love sparkle. And um, I really love the different textures in here. There's like different you know colors and textures and shapes and you know sizes so what i decided to do with this purse that used to look like this is i'm tearing it apart ah, and i already started but um i'm basically taking the sparkle that i love from the purse and i am catching it in the bag and then I am going to, um, oops, sorry, I had a notification. Um, I'm going to probably take this sparkle and put it onto a Moroccan wedding blanket that I just purchased in the mail. And it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. I'm probably gonna do other things with the blanket. I really love the pattern of the fuzziness on the blanket and it goes with my, it's based on my inspiration room, which has a gorgeous, gorgeous Moroccan wedding blanket on the bed. Um, and I was hoping that this would be, it's not exactly what I was hoping. And I contacted the business and I was like, hey, is it possible to return this? And I don't know if it's COVID-19 or if they're just not good at getting back to people, but they haven't responded. So I'm assuming that I'm stuck with this piece that I don't like. And this is my drama with shopping online. Long story, even longer. So I'm going to fix up the, the blanket as best I can to make it more of what I want. I want the fluffy parts to be fluffier and I want more sparkle. So here's the sparkle and then the fluffy parts will be a whole nother story. I'm not going to show you the process of taking off the sequence. Maybe I'll just show you a line. Um, because when you have things like this, these are like the the thread is through all the sequence. Like all of these, each individual holes has thread through it. And if you catch the thread on the right side, you can just pull the thread out and all the sequins come off. And it took me it took me this far to remember that if you get it on the right side, you can just pull. You don't have to individually unhook all of the sequins. So let's see if it's on this side. We'll keep our fingers crossed, but I, I don't know why. I feel like it might be on the other side. So see, we're just taking, um, just taking the thread, pulling it with the seam ripper. I'm gonna discard that sequin because it's, um, yeah, see, I pulled and I was hoping, but it's just a little tiny thread. And actually, now that I'm looking, I'm not even sure that I... Yeah, I just keep getting little tiny threads. Let me try one more time. No, I'm on the wrong side, I think. Let me try one more time. I know, I keep trying and trying and trying. Oh, okay. Woohoo! My instinct was off. I'm going to have to flatten it because everything's going to become loose. But watch. So, I, I don't really know how to show you this, but basically, I'm just pulling and it's unhinging all the sequins. And I'm going to put this flat. So, if you're like me and you like to destroy things, aka take them apart and make them into other things, this is a fun trick if you find a piece that has a bunch of sequins that you love, but you don't want to sit there and undo all the sequins individually like I was doing before, like a maniac. And again, I am, oops, got a, a rogue sparkle. Um, I am doing multiple projects simultaneously. I'm just trying to put out projects 
as I have them. Um, so I have some long-term projects, like I'm re-wallpapering my, re-wallpapering. I'm wallpapering for the first time in my bedroom, but before I wallpaper the bedroom, I'm creating a stencil to stencil on the non-stick wallpaper to then put onto the walls. It's a long ass process. I've, I recorded so much video making the first stencil and then it didn't work out when I put it onto the medium that I was going to make the actual stencil from. Like I had the cutout of the stencil on the paper and I put the paper on the, the uh, illustration board and it didn't lay flat. It didn't lay flat. So I'm remaking that video starting from scratch. But regardless, the point is I have all these different projects going on and this is one really easy, quick, one and I'm not even actually going to show you this project. I'm just showing you how easy it is to undo when you catch the right side of a stitch on anything. This isn't just for sparkles, y'all. It's for also, oh my god, but all the sparkles are stuck in the middle of the purse. That was a bad place to start. Always start from the bottom so you can work your way up. But um, Basically, I'll show you what I did, but you can undo a stitch in anything. Like in, if you're taking apart a piece of clothing, see that part that doesn't have sparkles anymore? Meh. One stitch, babies, one stitch. I took it off in one pull. I didn't have to sit, that is like hours of, of individual stitching if you pull the wrong from the wrong way but if you pull from the right way it undoes the entire stitch and again sorry I'm so excited that I'm not finishing any of my sentences but um this doesn't only work with taking off I guess appliques you would call them but it also works if you're if you're re-sewing clothing like if you find the direction of the stitch and pull the whole thing comes undone easy peasy you don't have to seam rip it makes your life so much easier so that's my tip. Look for the direction where you can just undo the stitch. Took me 10 minutes to get that out. Not really, but seven. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. I never know where to look on this setup with the camera going horizontally rather than vertically, but that's totally irrelevant. I wanted to pop on and show you an update of how many sequins it removed in the span that it took to record that video. Look at that. Wow. That's so flippin' exciting. You guys might not be ex as excited as me, but this is literally hours and hours of individually removing sequins done in less than 10 minutes. I'm not even kidding. I had put this project off previously, like I started this much and then I put the project off because I was like, it, it's so tedious, like it's taking so long. Like, yeah, I want those sequins, but it's taking so long. And then I remembered my trick today. So yay, happy birthday to me. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.